All right, so now I'm back again with uh, some more out of the park baseball. And, uh, I haven't done a video on it in a while, but I was looking at uh, my YouTube analytics, which they don't really matter because obviously I've got 17 subscribers, so whatever. But I was noticing that the first video I made was had 100 views, and had, uh, I want to say, 80 different people that had watched it, yeah, so, obviously, this is something people, something that people want to watch, uh, why, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll make another one, uh, <laughs> um, so, obviously, my roster is completely different from what I had in my last video, um, and I still have not completed all of the, uh, live card missions. Um, I, I haven't even been paying attention to this at all. Uh, cause like, I've got these missions completed, I didn't even, uh, notice that I completed them until I'm just looking at them right now. Okay, that's it. So yeah, I, need, I still need to... Um, do these. But I've kind of been ignoring it because my roster is filled out. You know, I don't really, like, like need, need anything. Like, finishing the live missions isn't going to make, like, a drastic change. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Scott Barlow. Anyway... <laughs> Yeah, that was that was pointless. Um, yeah, but I'm still in bronze. Uh, I think that's what I was in last time too. Or it might have been stone actually. Let me see. No, it was iron. Okay, so we have made an improvement since last time. But, um, yeah, it's not great. Um, honestly, I might just complete the live missions so I can get, uh, Cy Young for my pitching rotation, because I kind of, like, sold, like, three of them so I could get Frank Thomas, and, um, so far it seems to be worth it. You know, he's got a over 1,000 OPS. He's already got 2.1 war, and we're only 50 games in. Um, yeah, that OPS is pretty impressive you know 446 on base percentage 358 batting average does a lot of hit, he does not hit a lot of home runs but like hardly anybody I, I have never ever had anybody hit like I think I had somebody hit 50 home runs like once in OOTB 21 and then like that's it it's usually like 30 max I don't know why I don't know why but that's just how it is um, but yeah, I don't really have any particular direction for this team beyond win games, so it's just kind of, like, random. Um, like, I've got Miguel Rojas at shortstop, which he's a good fielder, but, like, um, he can't really hit, so he's got negative war, even though... He's got, well, his own range is negative 2. I don't know. I don't know why. He's got 92 range. He should be better than that, but apparently not. Um, bullpen, really bad. Probably need to fix that. Kind of been ignoring it. I've kind of been ignoring this team in general because I've got the other two, which are more interesting. So let's look at them. But as you can see, I just spent money. I'm now broke. <laughs> uh, 
So yeah, we're half a game behind with a negative run differential. 220 and 238. That is a negative run differential. And we were in first um, uh, 20 minutes ago. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. But yeah, I got Mike Trout for that on base percentage. Look at that. Run, run, run. When he gets on base, we win. When he strikes out constantly, we lose. Um, yeah, then I got Rico Cardi, Nomar, Tony Perez hit pretty good last season in the same league. The same league! And now he can't hit for some reason. That also happened to the other Tony Perez on the Blues. I, I don't get it. Like, maybe it'll turn it around later in the week. But for right now, they kind of suck. I got Kyle Schwarber for trying to get some homers. Because he's got good avoid K versus righties, the contact. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. I just want him to hit home runs. And um, he's second in home runs. So I'm going to say that worked. Sure. And then I've got Miguel Rojas at second base, which is working. You know, he's got 3.4. Um, uh, is that rating? And then, obviously, this, this was a great buy. <laughs> I mean, look how many gold gloves he has already. Like, it's been, what, 15 weeks? 14 weeks. 14 weeks. And he's got, oh, well, oh, that's actually only. So, nine seasons, and he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got seven gold gloves in nine seasons, if I could count, which, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, pitching rotation looks kind of crabby right now, but they're normally pretty good, as you can see. He's usually, eh, I don't know. Not, not mediocre, like, but, like, not really good either in silver. But, yeah, I mean, he's definitely worth keeping, that's for sure. Because, I mean, look at those ratings. Like, that's some really good stuff. Movement's fine. Control is fine. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Well, he got, he's got 208 strikeouts. He's got 227 strikeouts. And that ends up being a lot of money in the long run. Like, he's maybe 3,940 uh, PP already. He's made 670 in two weeks. Uh, which, I don't know. It's fine. Yeah. And then I got Clapiso. And John Tudor, and this guy that I just, I just got. Okay, the game's freezing. I don't know why. It didn't even do anything. Hello? Game? Game? Okay. So he hasn't pitched it. So I bought it for 12, and it said his, um, yeah, last time was 20,000. So I was like, well, I'm going to grab that card. Um, I might sell it if he sucks. So we'll see. Then my bullpen is actually not not awful. It's actually better than the starting rotation, even though it's significantly cheaper. Um, I kind of threw him in as the closer at the last second last week in the playoffs. Um... Which cause, I mean, you can see why he had a one fifty three ERA, two sixty one ERA plus. So, yeah, I mean it worked, but we still lost. It wasn't his fault though. I got Edwin Diaz, Rafael Betancourt, but yeah, the, the infield that I have set up is just like really good, really really good. 
I've got him at short. He's got 100 range. And then he makes some errors, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. The range is more important. And then I've got him at second. He's got 92 range, which is... Um, he's but he's way better as a second baseman than he is a, as a shortstop. Um, don't ask me why. That's just how it works. And then I've got him at first. He's got 90 range, which works out to... Oh, okay, well, he had negative range again. I don't know, man. I don't get it. He should have positive range with those ratings, but he doesn't. Again, don't ask me why. And then I've got him at third base, and he sucks. But, you know, when he's actually hitting the damn ball, then um, he's got positive war, even though he has no defense at all. Um, and then in the outfield, it's him. He's basically Lenny Dykstra, but he's better at stealing bases. So, that's why he's there. And then Mike Trout. Uh, I think his rating is still increasing. I haven't actually been paying attention. But he should be better later on. And then he's also awful. But, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I just want him to hit home runs. I don't really care. We're still first in zone rating. Really bad defensive efficiency. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But, yeah. Uh, that's it for that one. I did complete the live missions with that team. Which is why they're so... Not really like stacked, but like they're noticeably better. You know, that's why they're in silver. I mean, we made the playoffs in silver last week. Alright, so <laughs> this team, the Raccoons, they are a base stealing team, which is why we're third and still on bases uh no comment <laughs> but you know he's still 78 he stole 74 he stole 63 he stole 44 usually we're first um Not going that great right now, but we have, this is the only team that I have that has actually uh, won a championship. The, the meme team, the base stealing team, the raccoons, the thieves. I, I don't I don't get it. I mean, they're usually pretty good at uh, offense, but things have kind of like flipped this week for whatever reason. Again, I don't know. I don't get it. Why are you freezing? Stop freezing. But look at that. Oh my god. Please, please stop. Just, just stop. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, it froze again. Just stop. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so I got him. Look at that range. Look at that range rating. Like, Jesus. And then he's only got 2.6 rating. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Why? How? Also, he makes a lot of errors. Probably because he's actually getting to the ball to make that error. I think that's how that works. But um, uh, feeling leaders, zoning. Yeah, he's not even in the top six. Uh, okay, that's weird um go position short stop oh he's sixth i guess it's all right but he's got a lower zone rating than nomar which nomar only has 90 range so i'll let you figure that one out um range he's sixth uh, yeah i don't know he's just not doing all that great not happy. And then he just randomly turned into a decent closer. Uh, maybe though he's 
been like really mediocre this whole time in bronze even but like all of a sudden uh, he turned into a decent closer so yeah I don't know I mean he's got good stuff he's got man, decent control the only thing that worries me is his the only thing that worries me is his movement because it's you know 58 and he's a fly ball pitcher, which obviously means he's going to give a bunch, bunch of home runs. Well, six and 65 innings. That's actually not that many. Point eight. Yeah, like what? That doesn't even make sense. He's a fly ball pitcher with no movement, and he doesn't give up home runs. What? Oh, I mean, I did kind of... No, wait. What? What the what hap what the fuck? Okay, what? Okay, oh my god, fucking game! It, it, um, oh yeah. So on Monday, it emptied my reserve roster, completely rearranged my lineup, and now I'm realizing it changed my ballpark factors, which is probably why my offense is so garbage right now. Oh my god, that explains so much. Oh. I just can't. Like, like why? Why would you do this to me? Alright, I'm gonna cut it off right there. Um, yeah.